Hi, Rusty Schaefer and Adam Bigelson here for the Fretlight guitar and the new Fretlight GT control software. This is a revolution in teaching that we're going to demonstrate for you today. But first, before we do that, let's just quickly review what normal teacher-student interaction is if Adam's trying to teach me a chord. Okay. All right, so what would you do? Going to start with our E chord. E chord. We're going to learn an E chord. So your middle finger, your second finger. Okay. Yep, got it. Second fret of your A string. I right, got it. Second string there. Got it. That third finger, your ring finger is going to go right next to it. Okay, Same got fret. it. And Notice what I'm doing. I'm look how many times I'm looking back and forth. Okay. And your first finger is going to go on the next string. That's the G on that Where first now? fret. This this one here. Nope. Okay. Two strings. All right, right, oh, there. right there. You got. It. Okay, that's it. So now you play. That's it. I hear it, I play. Okay, that's normal teaching. Now, did you notice how much back and forth and how much wasted time there was um, in, in Adam trying to get my fingers in the right spot, right? Lesson's going to be over before we know it. Now, here's GT Control. So, let's talk about GT Control. What is GT Control? GT Control is great. It's a piece of software that works with the Fretlight guitar okay. and any Guitar MIDI controller. Got it. So you've got the U Rock right there. Yep, U Rock guitar. Okay, and if you hit the foot switch to turn those, enable those lights. Lights are on. What happens? Now at this point, when I strum this. All right, we've got lights. So we've got lights. So now teach me that same chord. Okay. What I want you to do is put your middle finger on that line uh, right there. And I there. see the light right there. Okay, got it. Your third finger is going to go right next to it. Got it. Notice I'm not looking back and forth. First finger. Oh yeah, up right on the there. Top. Yes. I've got it right the first time. You got it. Look at that. All right, what about another chord? Show me a bar chord, maybe. Another chord? Okay, and we'll go it, does for. Does it do bar chords? Yeah. Okay, let's see it. Definitely. Let's what see. What we'll it. do with the bar is we'll start with a G chord. All right. So you're going to take this first finger. Okay. And you're basically going to set it all the way across your third fret. Okay. So. There's the bar right there. I got it. I I see exactly where to put that bar. Okay. Nice. Now your third finger. It's going to go with that light. Your pinky is going to go right next got to it. it. And your middle finger is going to go it. right there. There it is. You see that no time is wasted. It's all right there. I'm looking down exactly where I need to see the information, right? Right under my fingers. Yep. This has got to be a time saver for a teacher. Oh, you have no and idea. And student. It's great. The processing that goes on for a student to look at me, look at their guitar, think about it. Uh, yeah, this cuts the time down. Like and, and of course, I, I play already, and we've kind of simulated this for you, but new students, it's got to be horrible. Oh, yeah, it's tough. It's, it's really tough. It's very unnatural. It's a right. whole new experience. And that's probably why 8 out of 10 students quit, right? We know that. Industry t statistics show you that 80% of first-time players quit. 80%. Think about that. We've got something here that can retain and cut into that dramatically. What about a scale? A lot of teachers are interested in teaching intermediate players scales. Yes. Okay. Scales are great. The nice thing about scales is I can click the paint mode on. Okay. So at this point, when I do this and play the scale on my MIDI. Wow, guitar. look at that. Okay, so you've painted on, looks like the A minor pentatonic scale at the fifth fret. Now I see it right there. So now I can just play. You got it. Look at that right there. Now what about memorization? So now, so now I want to try it without the lights on. Good question. Good question. Perfect. At this point. Lights off. Okay, and then I try it again. Oh, I missed one. I missed one, Adam. Lights back on. There they are. Got it. Perfect. So see that whether it's chord patterns, scale patterns, and you can paint the whole neck. You can oh, yes. demonstrate and play chords all the way up. Students can really visually see these patterns. Yes. It's all about patterns. Guitar is all about the patterns. Right. And so it's probably not that important for beginners to understand the exact notes they're playing, but more or less the patterns. You got it. Okay, perfect. Exactly. Well, that's a quick look at GT Control for the PC and the Mac with a MIDI guitar controller like the U-Rock and a fret light. Um, you're off and, and speeding through students, and they're coming back because they want to learn. There's so much more to do with GT Control. Please see the other videos, and we'll check it out, and we'll talk to you next time.